All right, we're back on the Silverton, and today we're going to replace the shaft packing and try to put the shaft back in the coupler. So for today's project, the prop shaft decided to just slip out of the coupler. Not sure why, we're going to investigate that. Because of that, the shaft packing got chewed up with the crusties that were on the shaft that slid further back into it. So I have new shaft packing. I'm gonna take the coupler off the prop shaft. Gonna probably drill the set screw dimples out further into the shaft. Um, kind of surprised that this happened, but I only really fixed the starboard side when this happened. Well, two motors, you should do everything twice. So, um, yep doing it on this side now so we're gonna see what condition it's in how this happened and I'm gonna hope that the red Loctite I put in those uh, a couple of set screw holes I can even get out so we're gonna find out okay so the tools for this job is a big hammer a spinning hammer a pointing hammer and a little hammer so we're gonna start by getting the set screws out gonna unbolt the coupler from the transmission and also gonna try to break the jam nut loose on the stuffing box there. Should be fun. Okay, luckily I was able to get those set screws out. Gonna get the four coupler bolts out, try to slide the shaft back and then pop this coupler off. Okay, so I might have just cheated. Um, I had all the bolts out of the coupler, started the engine, Put it in forward, then put it in reverse, and was able to pop the flange um, off the flange of the transmission. Easier than trying to get a screwdriver down there and bang it apart. So just one click, boop, and reverse, and it came right apart. Okay, so I got the shaft packing nut off and slid back. I am starting to use a hammer to beat the coupler off the shaft, which is totally wrong but I have no other way to do it, so I'm going to carefully tap that back, and tap that off the shaft, inspect the condition of the dimples, and I will pick the video back up and have the coupler off, and we can look at how the condition of the shaft is. Okay, the coupler is off. That really sucked. So, these dimples were not very deep, and you can kind of see where it slid back and forth so I'm gonna take the drill drill those out deeper like I did on the starboard side um, I just took the coupler off and outside uh, I sanded it down and put a fresh coat of black paint on it because I kind of beat the crap out of it trying to get it off the shaft mm, not what you're supposed to do but all I had was a hammer which I'd upgrade to a five pound sledgehammer um, pro tip just start with the bigger hammer so I'm gonna clean up the shaft get that smooth, drill these dimples out, and probably reassemble, oh, and then do the shaft packing, then reassemble. Okay, so with the packing nut, the rings, I should have filmed first, but stick, go down in there, usually have at least two or three, and we'll butt up to the end of the nut here. So when you screw this on, these packing rings meet with the f surface of the shaft log and when you tighten this down and adjust the preload, it puts pressure on these rings to help kind of squeeze in this way. So this is where the fine balance of just right to let some water come through to cool the shaft as it's spinning against this packing versus too much, which is just unnecessary, and too little will cause this to burn up. So something to note, which I'll go over when repacking this, is this is of course just a string or a rope of packing, and you want to cut on an angle so these meet together, not at a 90 degree, but maybe like at a 45, and then you want to offset your cuts so you don't have the cuts in the same spot but we'll get to that when we clean all this up and get to repacking this um, there was some old material left in there I just scraped it all out I'm gonna clean this up and put some fresh material in there uh, two rings is usually sufficient I might put back three 
because I have all this cleaned out and fresh now. So we'll give that a shot and go from there. Back inside at the mobile workshop, AKA dinette table. I clean these up a little bit with the sander. I mean, I'm not too worried about it. They're gonna get <coughs> green pretty quickly down in the engine room. So I have an old piece of packing here. Gonna see if it's either quarter or three sixteenths. Um, kind of looking like three sixteenths. I've got a knife and it's kind of all you need. So let's cut some packing, jam it in there, and this will be good to go. Okay, update. Um, it is three sixteenths packing. It is not a quarter. Uh, a little bit deceiving there, but I have one and one quarter inch prop shafts and it's using three sixteenths packing. I don't know if that works for every example, but this is what my setup is. One and one quarter inch shaft, 3 16 inch packing. So I've got two layers in there and I'm going to put a third in. You can see the joints as good as you can, maybe, on cut on that angle, mesh together fairly well, and of course offsetting each joint there. All right, so there's a bit of gap in the video here. Uh, what had happened is I had discovered that an engine mount had broken half. So I started to pull the coupler back up to the transmission and noticed that the alignment was really off. And I know that was wrong because I've aligned both these motors and got them pretty darn close, um, if not about as good as it could be. So I discovered that when I pressed on the side of the motor to kind of lean on it to get myself down there to start putting the bolts back into the coupler. Um, yep, somehow a 5 8 inch bolt just sheared in half. Um, really not sure how that happened or why, but the rest of the video is going to cover a new engine mount bolt and putting that back together. Uh, kind of unexpected on the shaft packing repair, but I guess that would explain the vibration I was having and why the shaft packing kind of got messed up. Maybe the engine was kind of just tilted down and tore some stuff up along the way. In addition to the coupler set screws not being in the right spot and you know not being as good as they could be. I also didn't film that because I forgot but I did drill out those dimples on the shaft and the uh, coupler set screws did seat very nicely into those and I did safety wire, which I think you'll see later in the video too. So the shaft packing's done, the coupler has been reassembled the best that it can be and now I'm going to put that engine mount bolt back that's not broken and get the motor back up to where it should be and aligned and then reattach everything and be good to go. So let's get to the engine bolt repair part of the video. Okay, so we're back the next day. Um, I'm not sure if I filmed taking this apart. So this is a motor mount bolt on the outboard side of the port motor, which gives it adjustability on height. Um, yeah, so that had snapped in half. The engine was just kind of hanging by the three mounts. So I ordered a new bolt and I'll show you where that goes and what happened. Okay, so here's where I left off yesterday. The engine mount goes, bolt goes through there, like, let's see, where are we at? Like that one down there. How that snapped, I have no idea. Okay, mid-project update for the engine mount bolts. Um, paid in the butt to get that bushing back in the slot because I tried with the top first and the bottom wasn't aligning so resulted with the hammer and have the big hammer. So between the few hammers and some prying with the hammers and hitting things I finally got that rubber bushing to sit down in the hole then tighten it up and I think we should be good to start adjusting the engine now that the mount is not broken in half. Okay, so got the coupler bolted back up. Got the set screws safety wire together. Now I'm going to adjust the packing, not the best I can at the slip here. I'm going to let the engine warm up. I'll just put it in gear at idle, and that's fine to sit here and let it spin. I'm going to see how much it drips and try to let that shaft packing work in. 
and just do a little bit of adjustments and then after I run the boat and get the shafts up to speed and everything, I can come back and adjust that again. We'll just do the preliminary adjustment here at the dock. All right, so we've got it idling in gear, checking out the shaft packing. I think I've got it pretty darn close to just a slow drip in gear, which is right where it should be. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, y'all. Well, thanks for joining me on another boat repair video. It's probably not very audible because engine running. But if you've ever had a engine mount snap on you before, drop a comment because I'm pretty surprised that I was able to break that bolt. Well, I say me. Somehow that boat, somehow that bolt was able to break, and I don't know how. So if y'all had that happen, said drop a comment. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you can. It really helps the channel out. Appreciate y'all watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.